Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. Okay, so today I'm going to teach you Linux. So the operating systems which you have, okay, and then when we have operating systems, then we have a different types of operating system. One is uh, Linux, and another one is Windows. Okay, so Windows, all of you are comfortable, anyways. Uh, I'm not going to teach you how to work with Windows. You, you know that admin part. But Linux is the one which we required a little bit of attention because that is where many, I have realized that many people are stuck actually. So Linux. So Linux, if you see, uh, this is the operating system which is developed by Linus Toward. Okay, his name was Linus Toward. In fact, I'm going to teach you one more tool, which is called Git. So Git is also developed by Linus Toward. Okay. So, but you know, uh, Linux, uh, Linux developer Linux, and using Linux, there are so many different vendor came, and they def develop a different flavor of Linux. Flavor of Linux. So there are more than 40 flavors of Linux which we, we have available, okay? But we will focus only on a one or two maximum, which is very popular. So there's one from the Red Hat, okay? And there's one from Ubuntu. So when we see the Ubuntu, uh, Red Hat family and Debian family, this is a family actually. That means they release multiple different version of Linux. So Red Hat have a multiple version of Linux. One of these is like CentOS. Now CentOS version one, the one which we are going to use seven as part of this session. Sometimes you will see that I'm using Ubuntu also. Okay, Ubuntu. So Ubuntu 22.x is a latest one which we'll use it. So sometime you can use CentOS 7, sometime you can use Ubuntu uh, 22.x and stuff like that. Okay, now these are the two operating system primarily we'll use for the uh, for the for the work for the lab and demo whatever it is. Okay, now this is the concept. Now I would like to talk about this one of the concept which is called Linux package manager okay that is a very important uh, concept which we have okay linux package manager so this concept you need to understand because i felt many people you may have had you know, difficulties for doing that so here yeah, package manager so package manager we have one concept which is called registry Okay, registry. So let me use some of the operating system here. Uh, so let's say we have a CentOS. Okay, and then we have Ubuntu. Let's talk about the Windows also. For the discussions, it's a good discussions maybe. Can can be good discussions. And let's talk about the Mac also or if not Mac, then uh, you can use Mac also and use and then we have one platform which is called Android also, right? Android and uh, then we do have iPhone, all of you must be having it. So these are the platform and in this all platform, 
there is a one place you can call it registry so there is one registry that url will be registering some some url will be there ubuntu have a registry also windows also have registry mac also have registry uh, android also have registry iphone have a registry so it can be multiple registry not only one okay you can have multiple registry now the question is what is a registry so this registry i'll i'll put it up in this way. in android what is a registry concept conceptually but what we call it play store do you know that right all of you correctly hello yes sir yeah 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 so what is a registry then play store simple registry means play store for android for iphone app store so something like this you know so play store what we have so play store you have a thousands of uh, let me show you actually play store right you see here this is a play store and this is a minecraft it's a one game i heard like this is a very popular but never played so minecraft is what minecraft this is the minecraft we have here ludo king is very popular in india right so this is called so play store contains what so play store contains repository conceptually it's a repository okay repository but you know what you call it repository instead of calling you say app we call it app for, for software engineer it's a repository for the end user it's a app okay minecraft app okay and this repository will contain multiple version of app actually so v1 they will contain v2 they'll contain so uh, remember that uh, this repository let's say minecraft they may have a multiple version of software though we install the most updated one all the time but the concept of repository you can have it uh, you know uh, what multiple version can be got it all of you yes i understand so this concept we have yeah so here let's come back to the point now so in this centos also you know there's thousands of packages we have thousands of packages but where would they keep it each packages will have a one repository each packages let's say git you want to install git so git is a repository but where it will contain so this will contain a registry so centos also have so many registries actually one of the registry which is a very popular registry which you can trust is epel okay epel extra package for enterprise linux so i'm creating a questions also question for offline okay so each topic side is very difficult to cover but yeah first question what is epl and write and how to use it and how to use it this you will do that because epl we use as a software engineer system administrator now a lot the question for offline we uh, published at debug school at debug school. okay so all this access have been done to you so you have to write it and then you have to uh, also know how to use it it's very important so like that what i'm trying to teach you the, the 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 fundamental of it how it works so here every operating system there is a registry and in the registry we have a repository uh, and this repository it can be named with for example git here it can be named with httpd apache 2 in this let me put it up this this repository is in centos named with httpd and here it's named with apache same software actually okay and here if you want to have a page to whatsapp is one of the things which you can install it 
so this is the one now i'll put it in this way a uh, little bit of visualizations i think will help you to understand that so this is your laptop or device it can be anything okay and here there is a registry there is one website which we have and there we have a multiple repository repo one repo one repo two repo three repo hundreds of repository so now the question is the software is here and this is linux now how to work with the play store all of you know that i don't have to teach how to work with the app store you know that i don't have to teach but how do we install this this uh, this package here in linux okay in windows also I'll, I'll talk about it when windows we we are using uh we are having a repository which is uh, let me talk about it in windows we have a new got org let me show you here for windows people those who are interested new get dot org is managed by microsoft actually windows people they can use this see here. how many package it's hosted by new get dot org see here. so get like that how many packages so this is a registry and let's say if you go and this is a repository one two three but we call it a named app are you understanding the concept all of you yes yeah yeah. yeah so now the question was how do we install the applications from the registry uh, to the repository i mean to the linux box so in a linux box okay the client we should have client okay so client each machine will will have a client for example if you want to install the any package in the windows from nuget.org then you have to install nuget client so here it should be download and see this client these all are client so this client will download the package from this website so so in linux how do we do that so in the centos we have a client called yum always remember and in ubuntu we have a client called apt get okay for windows we have a new get chocolate is also there and anyone remember that in mac what is the client I think it's brew brew yes brew okay android you have a play store which is installed in your app uh, mobile and all so using this utility you know what you can do you can install any packages from the registry and so on so how do we install so in for the yum and apt-get i'm talking about any package which you want to install yum or apt-get is a common platform install get so this will install the git this is the command yum or apt get install git they will ask you are you sure you want to install so hyphen y yes if you want to remove any commands then this command that means in a linux if you want to install any package you have to run this command to install and remove just like in windows you use the right uh, add package manager or something like that same here so are you confirm i mean are you sure about it this all of you yeah yeah okay so now guys now let's understand that sometime if the package is not found sometime maybe git is not there that means problem is not with the server the problem is the right registry is not set in your in your yum or uh, apt so you have to set it up and that's the reason i said this question is very important what is the epl it should be in the capital actually and how to use it right uh, uh how to use it uh, right uh instruction to install and use so this is a right questions okay each one of you have to do that okay so now what we are discussing linux and as part of this session centos 7 
if you want to install any package then you're going to get it that if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching